Just like old times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, let me try again. Who knows? We might get lucky. <laughs> nope. I can't reach her. Look, maybe she got caught up in something. That is obviously more important than her only son's welcome home party. <laughs> hmm. Things look the same, but they feel different, man. You'll be fine. Will I? All you need to do is adjust, and then everything will return back to normal. When you've been in there, you're no longer the same man. Not to mention that people look at you differently. I don't. And neither does Kate. She's done a fantastic job with the company. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I gotta go, it's getting late. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing that we did some shopping. Yeah. Cleaned you up. It's all you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you, brother. Mm. Uh, look at you. You're ready to rejoin society. I can't wait. She's waiting for you. Yeah. Welcome back, bro. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. You, uh, you kiss her goodnight for me. Sure. I'll do that. David gone? Yes. I hope you enjoyed yourself. You didn't say much all through. Yeah. There wasn't much to say, but the food was good. You've been working out. I had to do something to keep me sane.
I need to take a shower. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry. At least I can have a cup of coffee without his shrinking from me. Deepo. This is not the kind of welcome I envisaged. I'm just trying to adjust. I have to get to work. I was thinking of coming in today. To work? I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, you just got back. So? I think you should rest today. I made you some toast and there's the leftover from yesterday's party. I have to go I'm running late. Oh, and we're going over to Steve's for dinner tonight. They didn't have chocolate, so it's your next best favorite thing. I've had breakfast. When your husband's home, you have breakfast at home. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'm okay. How's he doing? It's Debo. So. I don't know. Everything is awkward. Okay, that's to be expected. I mean, he was in prison for six years. Yeah, but... Never mind. Sorry I disturbed you. Hey. Hey. Things are awkward right now. In time, normalcy will return. I guess I just didn't think things would be this difficult. Everything will be okay. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> I have to get to work. Me too.
there's some things that will change. Early, Vanessa, you're the one who's late. You know what I mean. Papi just came home yesterday. You should just be getting out of bed now. Pap. Well, Papi understands that I need to work. And so do you. You need to sort through these files. I mixed them a portion out of the house this morning. Okay. The earlier you start, the better, Vanessa. What are they? Client files, deals, proposals, contracts. Are you ever going to transition into a paperless person? No. Why did I ask? I don't know. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Why aren't you dressed? Deba, we'll leave for dinner in a few minutes. Well, I didn't know when or if you'll be back tonight. I had a lot of work to round up at the office. We need to get you a phone. If you had one, I would have called. And I need to renew my driver's license as well. OK. But in the meantime, we both need to get ready. We're running late. Do we need to go for this thing? I don't feel like going. Call and cancel. Now? I can't call and cancel now. Why didn't you tell me you didn't want to go this morning? You didn't exactly ask me in the morning. You just told me and ran off as if staying in the same room with your husband was suffocating. Kate, you I'll know. call and tell them we can't make it. No, no, no. I, um, I'll take a quick shower, change it, then we can go. I'm so sorry we're late. Oh, no, no, sorry. it's fine, it's fine. Uh, Mr. Debbie, ni nice to finally meet you. Please come in. Stevo, the business is good. I think we should invest. And I think it's worth our time. You know I like numbers. Give me figures, man. Hope you like it. Yes. I'm sure he didn't taste anything this good when he was in prison. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh, I didn't realize we're not talking about it. It's OK. I did go to prison. But it's good to be back amongst friends and family. So what was it like? And you now? What? He said it's okay to talk about it. Did he say it was okay to talk about it now? Whether he wants to talk about it or not, people will still talk about it. I will. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know what plans he has for you now that he's out of prison. <coughs> What's going on? Can we not talk about this now? Why not? It doesn't exactly make for the conversation at dinner. All right, fine. If you don't want to talk about the fact that your husband is a murderer and an ex-convict, and you need to be worried about your safety, considering what he did to you the last time, no problem. Maybe please pass me to the
You freaking told him. You freaking told him. Why would you tell him that? Why? It's our business. Our marriage, our business. Making a mockery of me in front of everyone. I didn't know Dekule and his girlfriend were going to be there. It's your fault. Why would you tell him what happened? Why? What happened was a bloody mistake and I apologize to you for it. What? You want to say something? No. I'm worried about your safety. <laughs> That's the last time we're ever going to that house. Ever! Debo, he's the only family I have. I don't care! Simply because I went to jail, he thinks he can look down at me. Debo, please calm down. Oh, trust me, I'm calm. I am. If I wasn't, your brother would be in the hospital with a bloody nose. Debo! What? I went to jail for killing my father. So giving the only family you have a bloody nose is a piece of cake. What are you doing? I forgot you were home. Mm. Sorry. I should be the one apologizing. Apparently, I'm the one intruding in my own house. No. They were didn't mean it that way. I'm sure you didn't. I suppose you're still trying to get used to me being around. Is that why you're not in bed? No, um, I was just reviewing some pictures submitted for Nolan Pharmaceuticals. Oh, is Eddie still in charge? Yes. <laughs> it's such a pain. I should go see him. He always hated that I could tell what he was thinking before he even said anything. I should take a look at those pictures and um, decide which way to go. Well, um, we're just bouncing ideas around. Maybe when we find two things, you can have a look. Okay. I'm going to bed. You coming soon? I'll be there soon. Good. At all. She's in maternity leave. You're kidding. When did she yeah. get married? Last year. 
By who? I'm Tony Cohen. Mm. Wow! <laughs> I can't believe it. What, what did you mean? Yes. What? Wow. It's the same thing. I was trying to fix things. How the numbers? They are jumping. Oh! I love the sound of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's the same thing. I, I think she just stepped up. Yes, she did. Vanessa? Uh, she's not around. She called in sick. Oh, yeah. Wait, are you back now? Just I'm trying to just get you to things. I'll see you around. Yeah? Alright, so you can think about it. See you. Yeah. No, I'm glad we could be of service to you. Oh, okay. I'll have Vanessa scan a copy tomorrow morning. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm not sure. Is that what they said? <laughs> oh, no way. Really? I can't remember that, though. I don't know. Stop. You're embarrassing me. Hi. Who's going to call you back? OK. All right, bye. Who was that? Dekwele is Steve's friend. You met him the other night. <clears throat> Oh. I didn't know he was also your friend. <laughs> Not really. I just helped him out with some business. What are you doing? Cooking. Since I was bored, I decided to make us dinner. Hmm. What's that? Oh, I bought it for you, actually. This is nice. Where did you get it? Oh, I bought it online. I had it delivered to the office. Thank you. So how was work? Very busy. I barely had a moment to breathe. So you were in the office all day? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> I'll just um, take this back to the kitchen and check what's cooking. I think we need to go on a vacation. A vacation? Why? You just got back. Yes, from prison, not Paris. Which is exactly why I think we need to go on a vacation. See, time away from everything and everyone will do some good. Um, Come on. It's been too long. When was the last time we did anything together? I don't know. I don't know the last time I went on a vacation. You never went on a trip? while I was away, even for a few days? When your husband is in jail, it's a bit inappropriate to go gallivanting around the world, don't you think? Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I would think so, yeah. But I'm back now, so... I don't I have so much... Fun. Just say yes. I don't think I can. I have a lot on my table and I'm... I have to check my schedule. Fine. Fine. Whatever. Just let me know. He's upstairs sleeping. Of course not. I'm in the living room working. Or at least I'm trying to. <laughs> oh, stop it. Don't be silly now. Of course I miss you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'll try to find time to come see you, okay? I love you too, honey. But... <laughs> no, you... Who was that? Go to the contract. Well, okay. Don't you get my email? Mm. What mail? <laughs> mm. Okay, I went through it. Mm. I think that you should um, tread carefully. I mean, it's a juicy deal, but 100 million naira as a monthly retainer comes with responsibilities and liability. Try four point thirty six. Now that's a dream. Four hundred <laughs> million. Yep. Oh, that would change both our lives. <laughs> you know, Kate, it's a it's a pretty hot day. Why are you wearing a scarf? I kind of like... I like the way it looks with them. I'd rather not. I, I, I don't know. Okay, remove it. Stop making up excuses for him. He used to do this before he went to prison. Now he's back and you're doing the same thing. He's my husband. Okay, this has got to stop. Debo is my friend, but this has got to stop. I'm not going to sit by and watch this happen.
gonna have a word with him. No. Talk to him, you're only making sense. Everything is fine. I promise. Please, David, don't talk to him. Please. Well, somebody's getting it so much, she's only just coming into work. I can see you're feeling better. Papi can't get enough of you, can he? You have an overactive imagination, and please stop calling him Papi. It's sexy. It's crass. And my sex life is none of your business. It will stop being my business when you hook me up with a handsome bloke like Barista David, and I'm getting some. Maybe you'll stop making it your business when I fire you. <laughs> It's not funny. You should see your face. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Something came in for you. What did Papi do last night? You read it? Of course I did. What if it was a bomb? Then it would have blown up in your face. This shows how much I love you. I'm willing to die for you. Mm. Papi has good taste. I'm done with you. Did you get my package? Yes, I did. So, uh, am I forgiven? It's fine. We're fine. Good. Uh, so, I'll see you at home. I, I have something special for you. Debo Devi. <laughs> Look at you! Gosh, what's it been, like eight years? Seven, seven actually. But it feels like ten. I know, right? You know, I was I was hoping and praying that you hadn't packed up and returned to me. Ah, uh, not on your life. I mean, <laughs> Niger is hard, but it can't get rid of me that easily. I know. So, what's all of this about? I mean, I was surprised when I got your call. What? I can't have lunch with an old friend? <laughs> Bella, don't be like this. This is me. Talk to me. What's going on? I need your help. OK. With what? I think my wife is cheating on me. So why are you telling me? Because I need your help. I want you to follow her. So that's it? You want me to spy on your wife? That's why you called me? You are a private investigator, Bella. And a damn good one at that. This is what you do for a living, isn't it? Why are you looking at me like that? Because I thought you called me here for something else. Like what? Never mind. Why do you think she's cheating? I overheard her telephone conversation. Although she tried to explain it away, but I can't shake the feeling that she's lying. And I tried to call the number back, and suddenly it was unreachable. Maybe the phone was off. Ah, uh, no. Besides the other signs, the lines, the shifty eyes, the unexplained trips, everything. Okay, so clearly you know she's cheating. 
Why do you need me to follow her? What's the point? I need to know who he is. Table. You're wondering what I'll do to him when I know who he is? Kill him like I killed my dad? At least I didn't fire the shot that killed your mom. I'm, I'm Look, Debo. Tell me you weren't curious to know what my wife looked like when you heard I was getting married shortly after our breakup. Tell me you didn't do some digging. Tell me you Okay. Didn't... Fine. <sighs> but it's going to cost you, Debo. Oh, and trust me, it's not going to be cheap. I don't expect it to be. Good afternoon. Nice to see you. Same here, Vanessa. How are you? The last time I was here, I was told you were sick. I'm very fine now, thank you. I can see that you're definitely looking very fine today. <laughs> thank you. Where's my wife? Does she like my gift? The necklace. Gorgeous. And the chocolate? Mm, to die for. Yes. <laughs> Is she here? She's gone out to a meeting. Oh, really? With who? I go. They're obviously new. One of the accounts we're trying to get. Hmm. Do you think you can bring me up to speed with all our major accounts so I can keep myself up to date before I resume next week? Kate didn't tell she me. She probably forgot. She's juggling a lot of things right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. So... I heard you were at the office today. Mm -hmm. I went for a meeting. So I was told. Vanessa told me you'll be resuming work next week. Well, are you? I could be. Don't you think I've rested enough? Or is there a reason you're trying to keep me away from a business I started from scratch? We started from scratch. Besides, it was just a question. I hear Crumb Stone is calling for a pitch. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't think there was a point seeing as I'm on top of things. Oh. Are you? Two years ago, you said exactly the same thing. You showed me you're going to seal the deal. And I tried. But failed. Because KMD bribed their way through. Which you should have done. This is advertising, baby. You settle some to make more. I'll go to Abuja and settle things. KMD had their chance and lost it. I don't intend for us to lose this again. What do you mean, nothing yet? These things take time, Debo. Coupled with the fact that I had some minor setbacks. What minor setbacks? Well, your security guard ambushed my stakeout, for one, and some unfortunate mishaps, but don't worry, I'm on it. But we're, we're a professional, Bella. Find a way around. I'm working on it. Listen, I will have something for you soon. That's if there's really anything going on. Did you just say if there's really anything going on? You think it's all in my head? I did not say that, Debo. But you've been gone for a while. Maybe you're just misreading the signs. I went to prison, Bella, not Mars. And you still can't tell when a woman is cheating me, so don't get coy with me. Just do your job. Can you do that? <sighs> yes, I can. Good. I expect some tangible feedback soon. it since you got back. Don't you think you need a break? I just need to round up on this proposal. <sighs> Look. 
Is something burning? Oh my goodness! I'm sorry about ruining dinner. I got carried away. Maybe you need a maid. A maid? <laughs> I don't need a maid. I beg to differ. I burnt just one meal. Would you want to burn the entire house down first before you realize that you need some help around here? I am not saying you're doing a bad job as a homemaker. I'm only saying that you need some help around here so you can concentrate on more important things like me. Besides, I'd like this to be the last time I eat anything that tastes like dirt. I had a lot of that in prison. I do not want to relieve the experience. All right. You can get a mate. Good. Now, can I get something else to eat? I'm done pretending that I can eat this. into your house as a maid? It's easier to spy on her when you're living in the house with us. I can't do it. You can't or you won't. <laughs> Either, both, whatever. It doesn't matter, Debo. I can't move into your house with you. After the history we have. History, Bella, that's what it is. Don't give me that look. We both scratch that. You decided that you couldn't work. And I was right. I only agreed because I couldn't cheat on my wife at the time. But now she's cheating on me. You got to do this for me, please. Debo, you already know that professionally speaking, I shouldn't have even agreed to do this job. Why not? You know why not. You already have me spying on your wife. Please, Debo, I am begging you. Don't let me move in with you. Firstly, you're not moving in with me, so stop being so melodramatic. And secondly, it's the only way this can work. At least the only way I can see. Bella, once you find who it is, you can leave. Besides, I'm leaving for a business trip in a few days. When do you leave? The day after tomorrow. Bella, please, please. Fine. Are you sure you have everything you need? Mm-hmm. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Amma. I was sent here from the domestic help agency. Come in. Thank you. She's from the domestic help agency. Right. 
Why would you go ahead and call a domestic help agency without consulting with me first? You kept saying you were going to get around it, but you didn't. And I didn't want to leave you in the house without any help, so I took the bull by the horn. We need to leave now. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna leave... What's her name? Her name is Amma. I can't leave her in the house. Why not? She's a total stranger, dear boy. I can't leave her in my house. Sweetheart, I have a guarantee from the agent. All right, nothing is going to happen. Trust me, okay? If we don't leave now, I'm going to miss my flight. You just sit till she gets back. Is that clear? Good. Telling you. 
Uh, Kat got your tongue. Who are you? What are you doing in my son's house? I'm the Where is he? Debo! He's not here, Ma. I think he went to the airport with his wife. To do what? Where is he going? I don't know, Ma. What do you know? Ma, I'm, I'm new here. I, I just resumed. Then you better get back to work and earn your pay. Where is she? Did you not see my missed goals? I was driving. How was your... Was it a vacation? You must have really had fun for you to have not been here when Debo arrived. Say wo, Nisheni. Don't you have work to do? Sorry, Ma. Where's Debo Ali? He went to Abuja. For what? To attend to some business for the company. Ah. Uh -huh. Mm. He's back to work now. Kind of. What do you mean, kind of? Is he back to the office or not? He's not, not yet. He wanted to attend to this himself. Why? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What do you know? You're his wife. He wanted to go. I decided to let him go and not be intrusive. Tell my son I'm back in town, and when he returns, I'd like to see. She's gone, Ma. Yes. Okay. I was quite surprised when I saw her when I opened the door. No offense, Ma, but she's quite troublesome. <laughs> yes, Ma. Yeah, I didn't realize it until I married her son. <laughs> a picture on a newspaper never really tells you what a person is like, does it? No. No, it doesn't, Ma. You're obviously very learned. <laughs> and from your accent, not Nigerian. <laughs> Having lived in this country for six years, I thought I'd lost my accent <laughs> and become more Nigerianite. <laughs> you no, know, you're going to have to try a little harder. <laughs> so where are you from? I'm from Ghana, Ma. Hmm. So what's a learned Ghanaian woman doing as a housemate? I need the money. And you couldn't find a corporate job? It's not for lack of trying, Ma. The ratio of people looking for a job like that is 50 to 1. You know the labor market right now, it's very stiff. And I'd rather be doing something, anything, instead of just loafing around. Yeah. Anyway, Mom, I'm about to get dinner started. Is there anything specific you want me to do for you? No, um... Yeah, sure. Yeah, anything you make is fine. Okay, Mom. Shown you where everything is? Yes, ma'am. If you need anything else, just call me. Okay, ma'am. Okay. All right. Okay. Ma, have a good day. Thank you.
And this is why I've been telling you to hook me up with David. If I were without Hank now, Mark won't have the nerve to speak to me anyhow. Honestly, Mark has become a pain in my behind. If I do know that by this time next week, you'll be singing a completely different tune, I would actually take you seriously. You see what I'm saying? Mark has turned me into that kind of woman. Needy, indecisive, confused. And borderline incompetent. Look, Vanessa, when it's lunchtime, I can sit and listen to the chronicles of Mark. But in the meantime, please, can we get some work done? Yes, madam. Great. So Christine sent over some pictures for review for midnight. I need you to have them printed. Also, I need you to get in contact with Austin. Chad care? Exactly. Vanessa, sit on his neck till he gives you a date to review the contract. And when he does, relay the information to David. My David? Barrister David. <laughs> Also, I need you to run a check on Amma Mensa. She is currently with the Domestic Health Agency. Uh, Facebook or any other social platform she do. I want to know the school she went to, the kind of person she is, just basic information. Why, who is she? Your replacement, if you don't get to work right now. I'm going to find a new best friend who isn't my boss. Please do. You know what, you know what? Love you, boo. Whatever. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Debo. Why is it taking you forever to pick your phone? Don't you greet? Anyway, having met your mom a few days ago, I'm not surprised. The apple clearly does not fall far from the tree. My mom came to the house? That's what I said. How is it going? It's going as good as it can be right now. What does that mean? <laughs> OK, I'm leaving in this hobby's house. See you soon. OK, I'll stop and get some things on my way. I have to go now. I'll see you soon. And who was that? None of your business. <laughs> on a more serious note, Kate, you've been congratulating me. What's going on? Nothing, Vanessa. I'm just tired. Are you leaving? Yes, and I'm not coming back today, so cancel my four o'clock meeting. OK. This is the information on the girl you asked for. All of these? There's quite a number of my maintenance on social media. <sighs> uh, okay, I'm putting it in my drawer and I'll tend to it later. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. Yes, Your Highness. Call you back. I'll call you back.
Hello, Ma. Hey, hello, Ma. Sorry I haven't called you all day. I've been very busy. How's it going? <clears throat> Fine, Ma. I hope you're not bored. Oh, not at all, Ma. It's a big house. There's a, there's a lot to do. <laughs> I can imagine. So what are you doing right now? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cleaning the bathroom, Ma, and scrubbing the toilet. Ah, uh, OK, the bathroom definitely needs a cleaning. Um, when you're done with that, if you're not too tired, please, could you arrange the wardrobe? All right, Ma. That's if you're not too tired, though. I know that cleaning and scrubbing can be tiring. <laughs> no, no problem, Ma. OK, I'll see you later, OK? OK, Ma. Goodbye. Ah! Scrubbing and cleaning toilets? Really, Bella? Madam, good evening. Good evening. How was your day, Ma? It was fine, thank you. Yours? Not bad. Not bad. Is there anything in the car that you mm. want me to take? No, no, I don't have anything. What about dinner? I'm sure you're hungry. I've made food. Um, no, not right now. Maybe later. I need okay. to shower first. Okay. Hello? You said you were going to call back, but you didn't. I haven't had time to call because I've been busy cleaning and scrubbing your house. Hello? I have to call. Don't you dare get off the phone. Please, I have to call you back. No! My boss is here. All right, fine. You didn't have to get off the phone because of me. Don't worry, ma. I'll call him back. Boyfriend? <laughs> Debo. I was in the bathroom. Hey, love. You're back. Obviously. You don't look too happy to see me. Don't be silly. Why didn't you call me to pick you from the airport? I wanted to surprise you, so I took a taxi. Mission accomplished. I'm surprised. <laughs> How did it go? Very well. I'll give you all the details once I'm settled. OK, I was just about to leave for work, but I need to get my bag. Oh, OK. OK, welcome. You're back earlier than expected. Yeah, things went faster than I thought. Well, that's a good thing. Is there any news for me here? Yeah? I'm working on it. I Bella, you, you've been saying this for the... You need to be patient, Debo. <laughs> okay, everything has been okay. Let me take your bag. Yeah. I need to leave for work now, but I'll see you when I get back. If you need anything, just ask Amma. Sure. Duty calls. Are you serious? I can't believe that you signed a 400 million naira deal at your first attempt back in the game. <laughs> well, they haven't signed a contract, but they're down with it. How did you pull it off? Kate has been working that account for ever. I mean, no success. Let's just say I have my ways. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, I'm sorry, but as your friend, no. More importantly, as your lawyer, you need to shed some more light on the subject. I reminded the chairman of some things he wishes I didn't know about him and explained how he can exchange the deal for my silence. Devil, this is not exactly the time to be going around blackmailing anybody, especially seeing as your mom. I understand just... my mom greased some palms to get me out. It's but... more than that. Maybe you should ask her. I hear you're busy going to Abuja, doing business. About that, I had a chat with David. And that's supposed to concern me somehow? Yes. Oh. <laughs> so what feat have I achieved to become the subject of male gossip? How did you get me out of prison? <laughs> well, well. I'd love to take credit for that, but you know, you saved some time and got a presidential pardon. End of story. That's a story for the press. I want the truth. What did you do to get presidential pardon? Oh, come on, Deborah, you know what I did. I bribed a lot of people. Mom, um, you've been bribing people since the trial and I still went to jail. Well, this is not a time for such a conversation. Just, Just answer me, damn it! What do you care? You are a free man! It's Senator Dunlady, is it not? Are you serious? Are you serious, Mom? You went back to him? Keep down your voice. After your relationship with him almost ruined our lives? He has the president's ears. So what? The man is the reason you and Dad had a fight and my intervention ended up in murder. Grandfather was a bastard! I don't care! What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? I wanted you out of there. Everything I did, I did. I did it all for you. You did this for you. Don't you dare put this on me. You were with him, right? The day of my release? That's why you couldn't come for my welcome party. This is messed up. You are messed up, Mom. What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I work here. My point exactly. You should be out there figuring out who my wife is cheating with. No, I should be right here finishing up my chores before my boss gets in, so I don't blow my cover. Well, it seems to me that you have been caught up in your make-believe that you have forgotten your real job. The fact that you are actually thinking that is insulting to me. If you had results for me, I wouldn't think that. You want results? No problem. Here, look at it. Isn't this Dekule? You know him. He's our brother's friend. So you're the one, eh? As you can see, Debo, there are two guys in this picture. David is a friend of the family. He's my best friend. Fair enough. But you still need to give me enough time to find more incriminating evidence. This is enough. No, it's not. You are done. I'll take it from here. Where does he stay? Come on, you obviously checked him out. You know his name. Where does he stay? Can you relax? Just calm down. Damn it, Bella. Where does he stay? <sighs> ah, just the person I want to see. That's the first. What's worth it? I need the... I'm not the first. Debo Debbie needing something from me. 
Yeah, shut up. Oh, what? You don't scare me. Okay, I'm not one of your pretty names. <laughs> you don't like him. And yes, he can be a bit tactless sometimes, but I expected you to show some self-restraint. Oh, shut up! What stupid self-restraint? The same you show when you sleep with his friend? What? Don't you dare play dumb with me. You lying, cheating whore. Debo! You heard me. That's why you wouldn't give it up, huh? You starve your husband of sex, but you give it freely to your brother's friend. It was all Steve's idea, right? Hmm? Debo! No, 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 Debo, 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 Debo! Oh, Debo! No, Debo, 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 Debo! Debo. You're my Debo. wife! Help me! Debo! Debo, no, 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 Debo! Debo! Feeling better? You're wondering what that was about, right? It's none of my business. Apparently, that's what happens when a man hasn't had some in over six years. You're not sleeping with him? Is it because there's somebody else now? It's more complicated than that. <laughs> Honestly, I never thought he was coming back. Why? He was convicted for murder. He killed his own father. His father was a son of a bitch. S Sorry, Ma. But that's what I heard. I agree. His father was a real bastard. Everyone knew about the greed, the corruption, the rumored killings, the other women and how he abused and mistreated his mother. But killing his father, he did that. He consciously did that and that changes everything. The irony of life is that sometimes we become the exact people we hate. Sorry. He only came to work for us, and here I am burdening you with all our problems. It's okay, Ma. I don't mind. I have to go. Back to the house? No. I need to go and see David. They're friends. I can talk some sense into him. Okay, Ma.
went to see David. Apparently, he's the only one that can talk some sense into you after you went crazy like today. What was that? Well, I'm sorry. Shh. I... Save it. I'm critiquing my things. Wait, wait. Please. Look, I don't know what came over me. All right? I was just mad. She's having an affair with someone else, and she's not sleeping with me. And my husband, for goodness sake. Calm down. Look, I understand your frustration. Do you? I... Do you? Have you ever wanted something so badly it's within your reach and yet you, you can't have it? No. No, I will not be your rebound. I won't. Bella. What? I think there's someone at the door. Is wrong with you. She is your wife, for goodness sake! Exactly. She is my wife. I will handle my business. Handle it how? By killing her eventually as well? You don't understand. You're damn right I don't understand. I don't understand how you can be so savage. I don't understand how you, after being in there for Just so cheating on me, okay? I told you that. I had a PI. You did what? When? Why? It doesn't matter, all right? She's cheating on me with her brother's friend, Dekunle. Yeah. I, I thought they were just friends. I didn't think anything of it when I saw them together. Yeah, well, they are screwing each other. Ah, yeah, yeah. I had that same reaction. Or do you want your own share of the action? I can see that you are either drunk or mad. Whichever one it is, I am not letting Kate anywhere near you tonight. She'll be back in the morning, day. You're not leaving me now, are you? Stop it. It's clear that you want your wife. That would just go and get her, please. You overheard my conversation with David. 
You mean your shout out with David? Yeah. I heard it all. Bella, I don't love her anymore. She's unfaithful. Well, it didn't seem that way moments ago. You know what's funny, Debo? You are accusing her of the exact same thing that you were doing with me. Bella, Bella you're upset. Uh, upset? Of course I'm not upset. Why, why should I be upset? She's your wife. <sighs> Debo, please. Debo, stop, please. Debo, we shouldn't. Please don't do this, please. Debo, we shouldn't. We already did. Hmm? We already did. <sighs> I can't talk about this right now. Y yeah. <clears throat> uh, can we talk about this tomorrow? I am in the middle of something, yes. Thank you. Certainly. Mark? <sighs> yeah. He's sleeping with her, you know. He was sleeping with her. The maid, P.I. Ama, whatever her name is. Hey. How do you know? I saw her changing through the window when you went in. What's wrong? How come you didn't tell me that the reason why you and Debo fought was because he, he found out you were cheating with Dekunle? I didn't tell you because it's not true. Look, Dekunle and I are friends and he's a client. <sighs> Kate, I have cared for you all these years. I have been there. Never once have you returned the affection. That's not true. I have felt the way you felt, exactly the way you felt, but... Why won't you let me touch you? Why? Because I'm still married. Okay, yes, he's aggressive and possessive and a control freak. And has hurt me in ways unimaginable, but David, he's still my husband. But not anymore. Not anymore. I'm going to ask him for a divorce. And I can be free to be with a man that loves me. On out. See you later. Thank you for yesterday. You're welcome. How was your night? I hope you were able to sleep without any nightmares. No, ma. Where is he? He's gone out. Oh. Is there anything else I can get you? No. 
I just came to get my things. You're not staying? Nope. I'm done pretending. I'm done being a subject of his rage. I'm done thinking he's going to change. And I cannot risk losing another pregnancy to his fits of rage. That's why I refuse to sleep with him. I'm not sure that I can bear the thought of losing another child. today. Mm -hmm. I feel free and light. I did not realize you were caged and heavy. Yeah. Puppies in a meeting with Swipe It. You didn't tell me it was resuming earlier than planned. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry. I will also I need you to book a flight going to Abuja for me this afternoon. I need to attend a meeting. Okay. Thank you. What are you doing? Taking back my company. You mean our company? Not You're joking, right? He's throwing me out, David. Taking everything I have worked for for the past six years away from me because I asked him for a divorce. What do you want to do? This is Debo Devi we're talking about. in this country. David, I stood my ground. I fought my way up. Even when people wouldn't give me a chance. Why? Because my husband murdered his father. I want to fight him. Whatever it takes. I've had enough of his bullying. It's him. Debo. You're home early. What's wrong? <clears throat> Long day. What's this? The terms to your divorce, or not. How do you mean? Okay, if you divorce and you lose everything. How is that possible? It's a clause. It's a clause in a memorandum. I didn't think things would get this far. I, I did it to protect his interest at the time. What about my interests? A bastard. I cannot let him win this. He has taken too much away from me already. What do you want to do? 
I want everything that rightfully belongs to me. Well, there's no way that's going to happen legally. I made sure of that in the contract. So what do I do? <sighs> you have access to the accounts. He's a co-signatory. So then we forged a signature. How? You leave that to me. out of the bank without raising eyebrows. Not if the account officer is in the know. And we get him to sign something that incriminates him, just in case he changes his mind. Okay, let's say he agrees to do that. I can't move that kind of money into my account. People will get suspicious. So we move it across different accounts so the money can't be traced. You do know that if... and when he finds out about us, we're dead. Yeah, I know. Which is why I'm making arrangements for us to leave the country. For good. You don't say. I know the man. He's my friend. <laughs> so? What? I'm changing your mind. About taking the money? No. About going away with me. What's the alternative? You tell me. Have you gone through the contract I sent you? Yeah, you're all good. You're good to go. Great. And Kate, I shall agree to my terms. She's thinking about it. Make her agree, David. She listens to you. Yeah, I'll do my best. Otherwise, I will ruin her.
I take it you got my messages. Seriously, Bella. Seriously. I'm a small boy running with my tails in between my legs who can't stand up to responsibility. Really? I see that it got your attention. <sighs> I've been busy. That's the line a man gives to a woman when he's trying to avoid her. Look, I... I don't need you to explain. I didn't call you. I'm the one calling you, Bella. want my money, Debo. I can't do that. I left you a note saying I was going to Abuja. Wire me my money now, Debo. I can't do that. I haven't sorted all of that out. When do you come back? Right now, I don't know. I could get a friend to arrange it if you need it urgently. I do. All right, I will talk to David. Great. I will wait for feedback and hopefully, Debo, I wouldn't have to send you another stinker just to get your attention. Bella. Oh, man. Yeah, okay, so how long is it gonna take to be ready? I'll see you soon. No. I'll have company with me. Bye. Sorry to keep you waiting. No problem, sir. I'm supposed to give you a check. You know, I didn't realize that maids earn so much. <laughs> Mr. Davy and his wife are very generous, sir. Mm -hmm. All there? Yes, looks okay. Now to be all then? Yes, sir. It was nice meeting you, sir. celebration drinks as soon as you get in. Actually, I just landed. I'll be in your office in a short while. Great. See you soon. Yes! Mm. That's what's up? <laughs> Whoa. Yes. That's good. Make sure the package is delivered exactly as I instructed. I just landed. What's up? It's David. Huh? The guy Kate has been cheating with. It's not Dekumi, it's David. Which David? How many Davids do you know? Your best friend, David.
Turn the car around. Turn the car around. Turn the car around! Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop, stop. Wait for me. By the time you read this, I will be long gone. Long gone with all the money that belongs to me. This might come to you as a shock. What I found out. about your plans to swindle me out of what belongs to you. I know. Everything is going according to plan. <sighs> Once we have the money, we will be gone, far away from here. <sighs> and we're getting married. <sighs> I love you. I love you so much, Chrissy. Stop buying your way back. I won't be coming back. 